Welcome to Searching Web Archives at the Brooklyn Collection. The Web Archive saves websites in a stable archival format. That way we ensure that those sites are saved for posterity, just like we do with our physical collections. The Brooklyn Collection Web Archive uses the Internet Archive's web archiving tool, Archivit, and our collections are hosted on the Archivit website, as you can see here. You can access this page in two ways. Your first option is to visit the Brooklyn Collections page on the Brooklyn Public Library website at bklynlibrary.org slash Brooklyn Collection. Once here, you click on the Resources tab to see our databases, collection guides, and more. And under Other Digital Resources toward the bottom of the page, you'll see the Brooklyn Collection Web Archive is the first link. You can also visit the Web Archive directly by going to the address archivit.org slash home slash Brooklyn Collection. Once you're at the Web Archive's homepage, you'll see the collections here when you scroll down. So far, we've collected over 250 Brooklyn websites. You can browse the archive by clicking through to individual collections. I clicked on the Brooklyn Politics collection, so now I can see the individual sites that have been saved here. I can use the links on the left-hand side of the page to narrow the selection of sites that I'm seeing. For example, maybe I only want to see sites that have to do with the City Council. So if I click that subject heading, I get those results. If I want to narrow it further and only see, for example, the City Council District pages, I can click that and I will get those results. Or, returning to the main Brooklyn Politics page, I can use the search bar at the top to search across the listed sites or even the full page text of the archived websites. So let's try a neighborhood name like Bensonhurst. This brings up 24 sites, including community boards, elected officials, and so forth. But we can also search the full page text by clicking this button here. This often takes a little bit longer because it is a lot of content to search, so be aware that you may have to wait a few moments for the search results to load. But once they do, we're going to see that we have more specific results than we did with our previous search. So for example, we're going to see the Bensonhurst Green Market and Mobile Pet Adoption in Bensonhurst, among other things. But before we actually click through to any of these archived websites, let's return to the main web archive page, and then we can search across the entire collection. So I'm going to search a common Brooklyn research topic, Coney Island. I'm putting it in quotes so that the entire phrase is searched. And that brings up 41 sites that have the phrase Coney Island in their title or description. But let's search across the page text so that we can get even more specific results. Now again, this will take a few moments, because remember, we're searching across over 250 websites. But here it's loaded, and we have over 400 results for Coney Island within the page text. The first one is a post from the Brownstoner website, so why don't we take a look at that? Once this page loads, you're going to notice there's something a little bit different. There's a bar across the top of the page that lets you know you're viewing an archived version of this page. It's not on the live web, so it won't change, even if the website is altered in the future. However, viewing an archived version also means that some features that are present on the live page may not work. So for example, this gray box here in the top right is an advertisement on the live page, but here it shows up blank. The important part of the page, however, the text and images about Coney Island's history, is all here. And if we scroll down, we can even click through to the related stories and see the archived versions of those pages since they've also been saved in the Brooklyn Collection web archive. So when this loads, you'll see it's another page about Coney Island history on the Brownstoner site. Now that happened to be about historic Brooklyn, but if we return to our main search results and click on the second one, we can see that it's about a more recent topic, an initiative for a Coney Island BID or Business Improvement District. So I've clicked through to the archived page and once it loads, we're gonna see that this article is from 2017. So this demonstrates that our web archive can be used also to research more contemporary topics in Brooklyn. And you can use and cite these archived web pages just like you would use and cite live web pages. 
Thanks for searching the Brooklyn Collection web archive with us.